category of expletives. Hey everyone, welcome to the stream. Thanks for joining me. You guys tired of me yet? Um, hello and welcome. If your first time, my name is David Lozo. Welcome to the studio. We're gonna do a little painting tonight. I've been doing this last, uh, geez, I think it's the third day in a row actually. We're just kind of hanging out, so we figured we'd uh, get some art done. So this is actually another piece that's for my on my Valentine's Day series. Um, if you've been following the stream, you've seen a couple more of the sketches and the uh, last two paintings for the stream have both live stream have both been those. So. We're gonna get after it today. And this is another one that's gonna be released on January 19th as part of that Valentine's Day release. So it's almost already Valentine's Day to worry about. So if you're just joining me now, so I have on the final stage of this painting, I have painted the background, which is acrylic. Um, I've done all the colors, the, um, the highlights, the midtones, and the shadows with gouache. And basically right now the dark line work you see here is enamel and that's what I'm doing now. So I'm gonna basically finish off a line work and bring it right down on this side too and it'll be ready to go. So probably about an hour, hour 15. So throughout, enjoy. Any questions, feel free to ask. We're just hanging out here. So again, welcome and thank you. So let's uh, toss some paint around and get to it. Mojo Enduro says uh, yes. Yes, thank you. <laughs> What's the name? Thanks for the show. <laughs> what was the name? Mojo and Dirk. Mojo. Thanks, mm -hmm. Mojo. Thanks for joining the stream. Merced Weld Works also says thank you for the show. Hey, thanks, Merced. Appreciate it. Van Gogh says, uh, Sticky G's loves you. <laughs> <laughs> well, <laughs> thank you, Van Gogh. Stephanie Johnson says, oh my goodness, I love it. Thank you, Stephanie. Oh, Graham popped in. Greetings from the UK. Hey, Graham. Great to hear from what you. What time is it there? Oh boy, I can't even do the math. I don't know the math. It's like nine, ten, I don't know. It's like, I, can't do I think it's Tuesday in January or February. I don't, I don't know if the math works. Cameron popped in, says love it. Hey, thanks Cameron. It's always great we can catch some of the international stuff. I know we do weird times sometimes. Where it doesn't help. Joe says love your work. Hey, thank you, Joe. Thanks for checking out the stream. Having a good time here. Been doing these live streams now for a while, so it's uh, a lot of fun. This is all the cute stuff we're doing for Valentine's Day. We'll do some serious stuff coming right around the corner too. So I got some fun stuff to, some Western stuff and some nautical. So we'll get to all kinds of fun things coming up on the stream. So again, we kind of bounce around. We do these. You can watch it here on Facebook, Instagram, um, Twitch. Twitch. So mm -hmm. feel free to, uh, to hop on those. One of the, if you're on Instagram, you are seeing the uh, the narrow slice of the video. Um, unfortunately, that's the way it works with the uh, Instagram. But again, you can see it everywhere. And the uh, shipping department is also here to uh, for your enjoyment. When I say for your enjoyment, I mean they're just laying under blankets hiding. <laughs> Rebecca says, hello, David. It's been a long time. You did a special drawing for my newborn daughter, Noel, who is now seven. Oh, oh that's a long man, time. that's a long time. Woo. Well, thank you so much. Congratulations on her college. And <laughs> yeah. well, that's very cool. Well, Slightly painful, but more cool than painful. You're old. Well, yeah. So Graham says it's 3 a.m. in the UK. Graham, what are you doing up, man? Woo. I appreciate you hanging out. Stephanie Johnson says I ordered a bunch of mini prints for my brother and husband, and I framed them. And I need to um, get a picture because they love them so much. Thank you, Stephanie. Appreciate it. Thank you for spamming your family members. We always appreciate that. Mojo says I'm going to get that samurai tattoo sometime. Very cool, Mojo. Good luck to you. I'm scared of needles, so there'll be no tattoos in my future. <laughs> but somebody pick when you get it done, though. That's cool. <laughs> He's not the first, probably not the last. Mm -hmm. Monica says, such an amazing talent. Oh my gosh, I'm impressed. Hey, thanks, Monica. Appreciate you joining the stream.
And it's Valentine's Day. It's a fun, a fun series. It's definitely some ideas I've had for a while. So, like I was talking about yesterday on the stream, it's, just, it's a fun bunch of a fun group. I'm excited to to release them all. Very active group of skeletons. Yes. All you know, all fun stuff that we haven't ever drawn before. So, but should have. I have avoided not drawing a pink beach cruiser yet. This is great work. Happy New Year to you and your family. Hey, thanks, William. Appreciate that. Happy New Year to you guys, too. Hope you guys are starting off good and fun. These are those weird work days where no one's really working yet because it's post New Year's holiday. So everyone's just sitting around playing with Christmas presents. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of booze theme to the Valentine's Day. It's all of your little people. <laughs> Hey, Cynthia. Well, thank you for continuing to snag up art. Appreciate it. So there's going to be six full-size originals like this, um, 11 by 14, um, in all the cute couples. There's going to be some smalls, and I'll sneak show you some of those that I finished up recently. There's this little guy here. Put that more in the middle. Yep. Right there? Nope, to the right. Like over here. Yep. Let's, I can't put that. All right, so I hold, I hold there. Yeah. So that's one of them. And he comes in a little frame. So there's some some small ones that um, show you that. I have this little uh, raven that I did. So you can kind of see that. I need a lot of focus. So that guy too. And then there, again, there's there, there's six of the couple pieces that are like this size too. So there'll be um, at least six big ones and at least three of the small ones. Here's a small one that I have not um, finished painting yet. A little Memento Mori piece. That's a gold foil ink. I love that stuff. Um, and there's a couple more too that may or may not make it in. There'll also be some ink and watercolors um, that I do every year for the Valentine's Day at two originals. So there'll be some small ones of those, and those are same thing. There's small, like, about the size of the piece I just showed you. So all in all, six large, at least three small enamels, and then probably, you know, five or six of the watercolors. And then prints of everything. And then pr yeah, prints of everything, um, almost everything. All the big, all these big pieces. This I call them big, but these 11 by 14s. There'll be prints of all, in all sizes, canvas, mini prints, everything in those guys. Mojo says, "Looks so cool." Thank you, Mojo. Cynthia says, "Super cute." Thank you, Cynthia. Hope that explained the original question too. It was a little, little verbose. Dan Martin in the house. Dan Martin is he, is he supposed to be working and not working <laughs> again? We're gonna uh, get Dan dare fired. Dare we ask? Dare we ask? I don't know the reason you get canned. <laughs> Wall Dog says, I love that you do the line work over the color. Thank you, Wall Dog. Yeah, it's just how my brain kind of sees it. So it. Wayne says, so good. Thank you, Wayne. Thank you for joining the stream. And William saying, have you ever considered any alien themed art? Aliens, like the pyramids. No, I um, I have not yet. No, wait a second. We did. Well, no, we did some robot stuff. 
But no. No, no uh uh-uh. uh. We've not, so. I mean, I love mech stuff. I love, you know, I wouldn't be surprised if that's made it into the, uh, I love the space stuff too, so that's a great way to kind of combine those things. I guess, um, uh, which piece would be, would be, um, aliens? Clash, uh, I do have one piece that I've done, Clash in the Cosmos. Um, if you look at my site, that I guess it's a, spacey. It's huh? spacey, you know, it's alien tentacles. That's probably as close as we've come so far. Hmm. Worms too says killer work as usual. Thank you, Worms. Mm-hmm. I like sneaking in bike stuff. Now, is this a, is this a bike that would function? Is this correct? Yeah, it's a great. It's a beach cruiser. All right. This is what you would be driving for this kind of situation to be taking place. <laughs> With no shoes on. Yeah, no shoes and a drunk front compartment. Okay. Yeah. Waldog says you'd make a great billboard painter, in my opinion. <laughs> Thank you. Um, that sounds like a lot of work. <laughs> yeah. Well, no, we'll just blow these up. Yeah. <laughs> and I have have my stuff blown up billboard size, so it, I think I'll just do it that way. But I agree. Lena says hello from Breckenridge, Colorado today. Happy New Year. Hey, Lena, thank you for joining us. Appreciate it. Out in Breckenridge. That sounds fun. You just think it sounds fun because that's where good beer is. <laughs> well, that too, but also... In my youth, I enjoy the snowboarding. Ah, uh, the snowboarding. Nancy says, my daughter introduced your art to me. I love it too. Aww. Well, Nancy, thank your daughter for spamming you, and welcome. A strange fact I love painting wheels and tires. <laughs> okay. My favorite wheel of all time. Lena says the slopes have been great today. Mm. I wouldn't mind being in the snow. A little snowy day. Well yeah, just in the in the lodge. Kelly is asking will you be doing a coffin painting again? Mm-hmm. Any coffins? Coffins, um, coffin shape stuff. There, I have a small coffin shape that might make it into the into the uh, the sale. I, um, Valentine's Day. I've already drawn it on there. You can see it here. It's, a, it's tough to see, but there's a little uh, a little devil couple embracing. Yeah, it's a really terrible picture. It's just penciled on there, and that is in one of my little coffiny frames. You can see here. So that's the only one I think, actually, I take, I take that back, there's actually two that are, I have a mermaid one also drawn up that might make it into the sale too. So those are two more coffin ones that will probably make it in there. Yeah, I think they'll make it in there because I have, I have those, I don't know, I have no, no prints of those coffin ones. Those coffin ones are because it's such a unique shape. Um, it's just the original. Van Gogh is asking, any plans to do any art on uh, toned paper? Toned paper, um, yeah, sketches stuff. I have actually been doing sketches on toned paper, and I'll be releasing those sketches in July as part of my Christmas in July sale. I've been saving all my sketches on vellum, toned paper, all that stuff um, to, to make it part of that sale. So that's coming in July. Will any of the um, ink and water colors for Valentine's be on toned paper? Uh, they will not be, because I don't have any toned hot press paper. They don't make that. Um, but you, there will be some, some more monochromatic, uh, probably one or two that might be monochromatic style. Um, in the Valentine's Day sale, too, ink that, that is ink and watercolor. William is saying uh, he'd also like to see um, uh, ancient culture themes, Greek, Mayan, Viking, etc. So yeah, there's there's Viking. Oh yeah, there's on the web. there's Viking on the web already. Greek, yeah. There's there's um, actually in the low brown section there is um, a mythology subsection. Mm-hmm. So I, that's where I would look. Yeah, that, that is in there. And again, um, that stuff is definitely in the works. Also, I have an Egyptian piece in my head that I, I want to do. Um, yeah, I mean, it's just, it's, it's about time. I have time to get there. So, and again, I have a I, I have an Aztec piece that has been kicking around my head for years. So hopefully I'll find a way to flush that out too. Kelly said that's awesome about the coffins. Um, amazing work. Happy New Year to you both. Thank you, Kelly. Appreciate it. 
Crimson is saying, I uh, love this image. Thank you, Crimson. Appreciate it. Yeah, this, is, this is fun stuff. Yeah, anything bike is I'm all about. And you can almost just hear the party and him giving directions. I feel like he'd be giving really bad directions from the from the basket. Waldog says it's cool to see a left-handed artist. <laughs> I used to be. <laughs> <laughs> Magic devil hand. Dan Martin says, did I imagine talk of a tiki mug? Oh my gosh, you need to follow up on that one, huh? Yes, well, there is there is talk of a, a follow-up tiki mug. Some mm. plans in the work, so nothing, we don't know anything yet. So hopefully we'll know more eventually. Oh boy, they'd have to get them in. There's no, time, there's no timeline on those things. No, darn. I, was, I thought they were trying to shoot for Valentine's. Well, nah. No. Move. Yep. Yeah. Christina says, hello from Fallon, Nevada. Never caught a live video before, but it's oddly soothing. I love it. Excellent. <laughs> What's the name? Christina. Christina, thank you for joining us. Appreciate it. Welcome to the stream. William says, uh, Aztec would be awesome. Thanks for sharing. Yeah, they, I want you to have some cool, you know, all Jaguar stuff. There's just some neat, some neat stuff for sure. Some of the gods. And again, after going to Tijanista and seeing, you know, where the heads were lopped off in the in the temple, and it's just, you know, really inspiring to want to draw heads getting lopped off. Worms too says you and Gerald Tidwell have rad bike related art. Ah, <laughs> Gerald. <laughs> yep. Both riders. That's how that stuff sneaks out. Is that why? Yep. All right. He's a biker too. Yep. Yep. We know Gerald. <laughs> you want to move it up a little bit? Mm -hmm. Trying to go side cam? Yeah. Overhead to go. Oh, it was fuzzy. I don't like it, the fuzzy. Tires take a long time, too. Mm -hmm. Tires take a long time. Mm. It's flying right along. It's like, boop, stopped.
Mo just says, uh, I just bought the We Just Fit uh, 13 by 10. Thank you for the amazing art. Oh, thank you, Mojo. Uh, Appreciate that. Nice. Monday is shipping day. <laughs> yes. Hmm. Wall Dog says, um, I unfortunately had a stroke and I lost the use of my left side of my body. And I try to do art with the right hand, but it seems backwards. Watching you looks normal to me. It's inspiration. <laughs> Sorry about that. Yeah, righties are weird. Please lecture us on how it's a righty world and how you've suffered. More importantly, <laughs> um, so I'm kind of a, uh, uh, oh, oh, what's the word? Um, a fraud. Because I am left-handed to write with, but I do everything else. Sorry, I'm left-handed to write and paint, but I do everything else right-handed. All the sports, hockey, baseball, everything is all done with the right hand. So you hope are, that, you're a left-handed frog. Yeah, so it doesn't, I don't drop in, in your eyes, but that, I don't, I don't know where the flag unless, you know, you know the full story. Have you tried to paint right-handed? Um... Is it just a disaster? Why would it? Yeah, it's, it's not a thing. Really? That, <laughs> that not, is really funny. Okay. But I use my mouse with my left hand. And I, I'm sorry with my right hand, and when I like would draw, you know, do lines and circle and, and shade you know, on the computer a little bit, I use the uh, the right hand with the mouse. It's even weirder. Yeah, so I'm kind of a fraud. Yeah. Just in case the lefty society is trying to give me a, a, a you know lefty award. Your hand you up. Yeah, I feel like that just made me suddenly I'm not. I always think the little toes are so funny. <laughs> <laughs> they're so, they're like more humany. I mean, you know, yeah. like more skinny. Yeah. They don't really look like bone, but they are bone, but they're funny. <laughs> oh, well, that's the same here. Right hand with everything else besides painting and drawing. Oh. I wonder if that's common. Yeah, I wonder how many left how many left handers are, are fully lefties. Freaks. No, you just got the world just forces us, oh. breaks us down. Oh, that's nice. Charlie says, I have two of your Strat canvas paintings on my wall, the Day of the Dead Strat and the Poi Strat. Oh, thanks, Charlie. Appreciate that. Have you ever thought about painting one with a Les Paul body type? I have not thought about that yet. That's deep guitar nerd deep stuff. Deep guitar nerd stuff. I think someone else has asked that before, too, so yes. it's nice to think about that. Well, again, I've always wanted to do a Robert Williams in the devil piece, which is uh, more blues, the neither of those guitars, but that's a fun music piece that always pops in my head whenever I talk about the guitars. And the devil. If you're watching this at home, do not ride your bicycle with no shoes on. Mm. Uh, Dan Martin's backing you up. He says it's pretty common since most equipment widely available is right-handed, especially in schools. Mm-hmm. Dan, see? Oh, boy. No. You people. Waldog says, uh, do you animate any of your work? So, Waldog, I do have not animated anything yet. Um, we've had some camp, some uh, advertising campaigns that had animated some of the work, uh, but we have not done anything yet. But I feel like that will that will come around. We'll just make them pay for it. She is primed to hurt her butt. Yeah. She has no helmet on. Mm. As a bike safety advocate, I'm very disappointed. <laughs> if she hits a sick jump, there's going to be problems. Uh, just thinking the same thing. Mel Marcom said, what? No tassels on the handlebars? Yeah, because I don't want to do too girly. 
<laughs> She's a woman of the 2021s. Yeah, and they don't like tassels. I don't know. Or I don't know. Like we had them in there in the original sketch. They didn't make it to this stage. I don't know what happened. Hmm. Carol Kumaro says good evening. Hey, Carol. Welcome. We're just here criticizing the things I've missed from putting in the painting. <laughs> What's wrong with you, sir? No little uh, flag on the back? No. <laughs> She's trying to be cool, man. He's drunk yeah, in the yeah, front, yeah. running his mouth. She's trying to get him home. <laughs> She's like, shut up. Yes, I know the way home. Shh, thank you. <laughs> Should you be painting at the bottom right now? Oh no, I should not be over down here. What am I doing? Right? Yeah, yeah, that's dumb. You should not be doing that. <laughs> burr, 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 burr. Over here, stupid. Yeah, I'm, why, why am I down there at all? Yeah. Kitty says, did I miss the bell on the handlebar conversation? <laughs> ah, bell. Yeah. Correct. Where were you guys all when I was coming up with the sketch? <laughs> Mailbar comes says playing cards in the spokes. Yeah. <laughs> now everybody pops I'm, in. All right, I'm throwing this piece away. Yeah. You guys have ruined this whole piece. <laughs> Kitty says, hi from Oregon. Hey, Kitty. <laughs> Welcome to the crap on the stuff Dave forgot to put in the drawing section of the stream. This painting's crap. Throw yeah. Away. What the fuck were you guys earlier? Oh, I need a beep button. Yeah. <laughs> I need to beep you now. If I had a beep button, though, then I would so take advantage of that. I would beep you uh, when it Constantly. Really matter. Yeah. Exactly. It would be great. You don't want to give me that kind of power. Isn't there a beep button in the software? I don't know. Like that's something that probably is pretty standard. Uh, I don't know. Let's look. You're going to be sorry you said that. No, I'm going to swear like a mother. Kitty says yes on the card and the spokes. Oh, at least you didn't misspell anything yet. Ah. <laughs> no. Veterans of other streams, oh, I see. Oh, no. The misspelling was hilarious. Yeah, that's classic. Mel Markov saying, I guess I missed the live stream of the concept. <laughs> Try and do an independent woman of the 2020s, and this is what you get. She doesn't want cards. She doesn't want tassels. She's independent. Driving her drunk ass man home. Yep. She's like, I feel super independent right now. <laughs> <laughs> I'd like to be more independent and dump yep. this guy. In. And Dan's asking, have you ever streamed the acrylic and gouache stages of the painting? So yes, we have. Um, I haven't done the background, um, stream the background, but we have um, streamed some full paintings. It just takes so long, and you, it looks like a turd for so long. Mm -hmm. With that stop, with a, um, again, it, if I was to show the, it's another hour and a half to two hours of just the gouache coloring. So it just makes for a very long stream to do both, and, and with a gouache. When I'm done, it's like you don't end up with any kind of reveal. It's like, hey, awesome, there's more work to be done. Mm -hmm. So we, um, some of the smaller ones, we might do that again, because that's a, the one I did before. If I can do the gouache relatively quickly, at least. I'm trying to keep it sexy for you guys. I didn't get the sense that people love washing the gouache. No. But maybe it's a little boring. Uh, it's my least enjoyable part. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. This is what I enjoy the most. I love seeing this this portion all come together. The 
apparently um, have to have them along for the conceptual portions. It'd be best if you got more input. Mm-hmm. We could have all pitched in. Then you write all your names on like the piece. She could have had a huge banana seed. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Yes, there are things. Mel saying uh, she should have made him call for an Uber. <laughs> I think she is the Uber. This is what Ubers are these days. Right. <laughs> Social distance Uber, right in the front. If you heard that, that is definitely the little dog. I don't want to be accused of that being me. Our little dog has. A little gas issues in the house, apparently. <laughs> what did I feed him? I don't know, but that was loud enough for that. That was definitely heard in the stream. There's no way. Mel was saying I'm messing with you because I feel like you're messable. <laughs> oh, yeah, completely. Rose says, absolutely adorable. Can't wait to see this one completed with your amazing detailing. Thank you, Rose. Thanks for hanging out with us. And thanks for not pointing out things that I've missed. <laughs> uh, Wild Dog's asking, do you paint digitally? So, Waldog, I do all my sketches for the large paintings digitally. Um, just the sketches. Um, I don't do any full pieces in, in digital. Um, super small ones like the ones I showed earlier, those I just hand sketch on, on, on you know, paper. But I do use digital a lot for all my preliminary sketching. I bring my iPad with me. Um, I sketch. I do have a, a, a Cintiq style pad here, too. Um, for my computer, but I do um, most of it nowadays on the iPad in uh, Fresco, which is just like Procreate, and I just do my sketches with an iPad pencil and do all the digital, uh, laying it all figured out, and I take that sketch, I print it out like this, and get after it. Jody Heath is in the house. Jody Heath. Says, uh, Happy New Year to you. I arrived late as this sold, will there be prints? The deets. Calm down, Jody. Yes. <laughs> All the deets. So this is part of the Valentine's Day sale. There is, um, we were just talking about, there's six full-size paintings, meaning, you know, 11 by 14. Um, they're going to be in that sale um, with prints and everything. And then there's going to be uh, three or four small enamel no-print pieces. And then there's going to be uh, four or five watercolor no-print pees and, um, and then a whole bunch of all the love stuff existing love stuff all put in a pile. But yes, there'll be prints of this stuff here, there'll be prints, mini prints, the full range of the, for these guys. That's the deets. Jody coming in hot, what's going on? What's the deal? Where's this? What's that? Give me the scoop. Important stuff, you gotta know that stuff. Well, that's it's a very cool process uh, using actual paper, so old school. <laughs> <laughs> it is, and I, I enjoy the tactile feel, the paints. I mean, I'll, I'll never be totally digital, I, I, I need. I love there being an original. I love there being, you know, mistakes that you can't fix, that you gotta, you know, work, figure out. You know, there's no undo button. Sometimes I wish there was, but at the same time, you know, I love it. You know, there's the hands craftsmanship that goes into it, the, the tactile feel of it all. And the fact that the power goes out, I still have an original. <laughs> Jody says, thanks uh, for the deets. <laughs> you got it. And when's the sale? So many questions. Oh, I see, I missed that. I didn't give you all the deets. So, uh, January 19th. 6 p.m. PST. Everything will go live. 
Um, and again, I'll be showing um, all the pieces as the days get closer to the sale. So you can see um, my live streams the last two days. Those pieces are all in the sale. And we'll all, post about yeah, it. We'll, yeah, we'll, we'll be spamming you. Don't worry. You'll be like, I got you. It's sale coming. I got it. Settle down. I'm not sure how the name's pronounced. I'm going to say Belem uh, over on... Um, over on Instagram says hola. Hey, Belem. Hope we're pronouncing that right. Thank you and welcome. <laughs> Wesley says, so is this why my stuff isn't done? Yeah, Wesley, <laughs> this is just screwing up your stuff. Exactly why. Exactly why. Because Valentine's is a hard cutoff. You gotta get it out to the printer for all the prints. Mm-hmm. The Wesley's piece is gonna break a lot of hearts when I show that one. No. But Wesley, have faith. Um, I've painted it in my head like five times already, so it's going to be. I've, you're getting like the seventh revolution. It's going to be perfect. <laughs> and it's coming. I figured, you know, we'll just deliver it to the wedding. Is that a problem? And this is for the actual invitation? Yeah. For? Yeah. You know, the important thing. Yeah, I guess he has a hard deadline too. I guess. Because he's like, um, ask him where it is. He says we couldn't be more excited. <laughs> hurry up. I said that. You did. It's going to be awesome. Though, <laughs> I so. added the hurry up. It's going to be awesome. It makes me laugh. Just I, It was literally doing it in my head last night. I almost woke you up because I was laughing at some parts. Oh, of their painting? Yes. Oh, cute. I don't want to say it on the Stream. Something's gonna be surprised. Uh -huh. And goes saying, "How long did the last piece I got take to draw up?" What's the last piece you got? Did he say? Help me out. What's the last piece you well, got, yeah, Mango? And then I'll be able to tell you how yeah. long. I have a short memory. I let the back ask a texture. Wesley says, uh, we'll have a good night, you two. We'll hopefully see you all soon. You got it, Wesley. We guys are doing well. Please kick Jerry in the shin for me. Brush Strokes says, hi, David. Ordered a, the Kafka 000. The other day, excited to try it out. Excellent. That sounds very small. Yes, it's very small. So zero zero zero. Um, so if that's what you ordered, you did not. It says Kafka zero 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 five zeros. Five zeros. Why does it? Why is it numbered this way? <laughs> yeah, exactly. Um, so that is—is is that the pinstripe or the long the, the script liner? Because I feel like it's the pinstriping brush and not the script liner like I use. If, if that's what you were looking for. Because the, these script liners were numbered 5-0, um, 5-0. Oh, oh. See that? 5-0, oh, and then uh, a 1, a 2, in that way. Now you've done it. Oh, Van Gogh is, is Michael from Arizona. He's oh. talking about his Christmas piece. Oh. What is the Van Gogh all about? Oh, I'm going to cough his ear. What is he messing with us for? How long did it take you to do Michael's piece? I just bought it already done from somebody you else. Done from, from Bed Bath & Beyond. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. It took 20 minutes to drive to Bed Bath & Beyond. Take that Van Gogh. Bruce Strokes says it is the liner. Okay. <laughs> Waldog says Happy New Year to you. Thanks for your work, David. God bless. Thank you, Waldog. Appreciate it. Thanks for hanging out with us. And uh, Van Gogh, I think it was about... He said it's his Twitch username. <sighs> Twitter is uh, Sticky G's. I'm a man of many names. Yeah. God. I think it was, um, uh, that was about an hour and a half. About an hour and a half? Yeah. Many names, same dummy. <laughs> dummy by any other name. 
Was I supposed to know that that was him? Uh, how was I supposed to I know that? I didn't know. I didn't know. Oh, God. <laughs> He's laughing. Dork. <sighs> Rose says, I absolutely love watching this come to life. I grew up painting with live videos on Sunday mornings with my father, and this is the first time in years I've watched a live painting. It's mesmerizing. Thank you for being you. I look forward to joining more live sessions. Well, thank you. I appreciate that. Nice. Thank you, Rose, and we'll yeah we'll be here. This is what we do now. We are in the studio in my jammies painting is the way of 2021. So hope you'll join us again. Van Gogh is saying, "I said Sticky G's loves you at the beginning of the stream." But I, I know if that, that was somebody going. else. Ugh. Because how do you ban know, people? Not, I'm, I'm looking it up right now. How <laughs> how to ban someone from Twitch? Uh, he must recall that we don't think his nickname is Sticky. Yeah, it's that Stinky. It's, that it's only Stinky. Yeah. We got it wrong at the beginning and we'll never get it right. Yeah, we learned it as Stinky, so that's what it is. Yep. It's not <laughs> Sticky, it's Stinky. Deal with it. It's even in my phone, as. I, yeah. Stinky. That's why I didn't think it was him. Cause, yeah. <laughs> All right, let's get some. Let's get this top drink thing down here. Band Rose said it's it's like a jammy party. I'm here making art in my PJs too. Yeah. Doing a leather work. Nice. Cool. Well, thank you for joining us. Leather work time in your jammies. I can say leather jammies don't sound comfortable. No, no. I'm just hearing my leather jammies. No, making leather in your jammies. I need new paint. I'm just gonna cheat and dump this paint in here. It's gonna waste it. Dogs on the move. Go to the dog cam, they're alive. Dogs on the run. So where to catch them? Brush strokes says cute pups. Thank you. That is the shipping department. If you get a package that has a toy in it <laughs> or is chewed, that's how it got there. That's nice. Uh, Michael's saying it's crazy to think that it only took you an hour and a half to create something that makes us so happy for years to come. Amazing gift you have. No. Well, thank you when you're not a jerk about it. <laughs> oh, boy. Maribel says, uh, this is beautiful. Greetings from um, Pico Rivera, California. I don't know where that is. Thank you, Maribel. I alerted you of someone misusing your art some time ago, and I'm glad you've pivoted to live stream now that we can't see you live. Thank you. Yeah, exactly. First off, thanks for looking out. Appreciate the uh, heads up when we find the vandals out there. But uh, yeah, we, um, this is, I kind of, you know, if you're new to the art, um, I, my whole career has been in front of people, you know, painting at festivals, shows, live demos. Um, that's always been, you know, how we did this whole thing. So um, with the change now and retiring from shows, um, it's fun to find a way to still be able to interact and share the art 
So this has been a lot of fun, and, and again, you get to do it in my jammies. But again, it's just a, it's, it's a fun way to kind of capture that same energy and joy that I get from, you know, being around, you know, and sharing the work in public. So people like Van Stinky can check things out. <laughs> He's saying that the, uh, the whole praise that he just gave you was all about damage control. <laughs> but yeah. And I'm sure it came from her, not him. <laughs> He's like, hey, yeah, so now we're good. Um, oh, here's the other thing that I want. All right. Oh, God. That's too <laughs> funny. You're going to get dirty panda paintings. Which is my favorite art. Still my favorite art. Art and joke ever pulled is that. I know. An imposter mug. Because I can't do every mug mine. Maribel saying, uh, I saw you at a festival in San Diego, and I can't afford an actual painting of yours, but I will one day. Goals. <laughs> well, thank you. Oh, nice. Appreciate you following along. <laughs> no more comments saying, when we're allowed to do shows again, you really should show up for the first one in your jammies. <laughs> in your loungewear. Yeah. <laughs> your fancy loungewear. Your Costco coordinated uh, pajama set. I'm just going to basically lock the front door of the booth and you get to go online to see me even though I'm at the same event. <laughs> Slide this a little bit. Star Willette says super cool. Thank you, Star. I want to rotate and cheat a little bit and just this way. Mm -hmm. Keep my hand from doing what we're not supposed to. Let me guess it's because you're a lefty and it's so hard. Mm hmm. The things we do. Uh, well, your side cam would be on the other side. So I was already. How's over at cam look still? The. Neither. Neither's great. <laughs> no, it's fine. The side cam is a little, little off. Well, side cam's fine. I'm not worried about that. The over at cam is one I had issues with before. I just want to see if we could iron that out. Bright at the top, it's very bright, but you know. I can. Oh boy. Uh huh. Why are you doing Live that? adjustments. What is happening? 20 seconds to change it? Yeah. Better? Uh huh. Okay. Yeah, just kind of brought the tone down. Better. I can do that. That's an easy change. Hmm. No one even asked what you did. No, just basically um, put a uh, smaller aperture, less light. No stuff. <laughs> or I will pass out because I forget to breathe.
down here when I haven't done his head yet. If I do his face, then I can turn it back to the correct angle. So bear with me one second when we whip this around. Can you just move it to the left just to see the job? Yep. Those are the scary lines. Oops, hold on. Nose. <laughs> I've got to get my nose. Back on it. You good? See. Those are always the, the key scary lines because they really decide the look of the face. <clears throat> Even though I haven't sketched out already, still a, I'm very sensitive to the thickness of those lines. time of year, Caleb, but <laughs> we'll be killing things in no time.
I don't know if you're saying, is this Tiki esque? I don't think I saw the sketch. <laughs> <sighs> it's, it's a tiki, It's a Tiki mug in it. Yeah. One of the least Tiki Tiki pieces, okay? Yeah. <laughs> but I figured they were at a Tiki bar. This is how this all happened. Ah. Uh, you have to make assumptions about the story. Yeah. I love that he's holding on to that heart and he's like, I am so drunk. Yeah. Phew. Is this yours? <laughs> you just need to hold on to yeah. something. <laughs> yeah, he said that's what caught his eye was a little tiki mug. Because on the Instagram, you can only see the side of it. Ah, uh, yeah. If you if you move the piece to the left, like an inch, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Raven Soul says, I love it. Hey, thank you, Raven. Appreciate it. This is very regional, but it feels like um, Oceanside or PB. It feels very San Diego. Yeah. <laughs> I yeah. don't know why. <laughs> I feel like I've seen I know this other. I know times. other places have you know beach bikes and all, you know, but this just feels very targeted. <laughs> feels like we know these people. Yeah. These people have thrown up in my front yard. I mean, it's feeling like Byron and Jen. It, I know, I know. I really feel like it. <laughs> I think if they were online, they would uh, yeah. be laughing pretty hard. If you're gonna have a bass on your bike, you better at least have a skull on it. Yeah. And you're doing it. <laughs> That's sexist. Maybe it's his bike. It could be his bike. I feel like this this scene has happened to them before. Oh good for sure. <laughs> Nas 234 is that I had to get the join request banner out of the way because um, on Instagram it has this stupid banner it like takes up the bottom third of the video Ugh. and you have to you have to join you have to like but you're already joined if you're in the room you know what I mean yeah sorry Nas that's crap Instagram it's so it's so annoying Instagram has not really embraced this whole video thing quite well in fact they make me do a horror a vertical video it's like what is this? What year is this? Rose says, hey, girls like skulls too. Exactly. <laughs> it, just, it says, you definitely nailed the SD vibes with this body. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, if you go to Oceanside, this is happening right now. It feels on like the strand. Oceanside. Yeah, yeah. This happened today in Oceanside. Nas234 says, as a photographer, vertical video crushes my soul. Oh, I know. It's like, it kills me. I mean, let us choose. It's just... Why force it? I don't, I don't understand. Because technically on the phone... No, no, no. It. Whatever you're going to say, no. <laughs> it's just... It's outdated. It's, definitely outdated. it's like my grandmother's filming all of Instagram. Who still shoots that way? It just makes me nuts. Can you uh, bump it up a little bit, like an inch? I can Go. bump, 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 bump it up. Fun animation art by Sandy. Popped in with a little wave. <laughs> Thank you, fun animation art by Sandy. Appreciate you stopping by, checking out the work. She just got a free plug. Smart. She's brilliant. That's good marketing. Have mm -hmm. Your name and what you do. Yeah. All combined. That's that's smart right there. Oh, sweet animation art. It's bested me. Oh, 
Rose says, I lived in North County for five years, and this was life. <laughs> <laughs> and she said, by the way, your cameras are doubling over your voices. Don't know if it, maybe it's just my laptop. Check and see if the audio is on anything else. It's weird. Mm, no. Anybody else getting double audio? Let me know, and if not, we'll just yell at Rose. It's her fault. Instagram wins rise a little bit. Probably need to talk, though, so you can check the double audio. I'm waiting to see if anybody else is hearing. Uh, Star is saying it sounds fine here. Star's on Facebook. Um, Rose is also on Facebook. No, nobody on Instagram is getting any double weird things. I think you, your computer might be wacky, Rose. Nice job, Rose. <laughs> nice job. She's getting everything twice, so she's yeah. just like, oh, shut up. This guy's jokes aren't funny the first time around. I them twice. <laughs> right. This guy sucks. Well, that's what I have to do. Yeah. Because I'm, we're on a delay, so I have to hear his answer, and then 20 seconds later, I have to hear it in my ear. Oh, <laughs> what a tough deal you have. I feel you. It's terrible. You're blessed to hear me twice. <laughs> Raven says it's awesome that we get to watch this live, so thank you. Thank you, Raven. I'm going to move that. Is that bottom wheel in, uh, in play? I believe it will be. All right. I'll let you know in 20 seconds. All right, exactly. <laughs> See if that's in the Instagram world. Yeah, the, the tire's perfect. All right. Exactly, buddy. Boom. Are you proud of yourself when you pull a good straight line? Good straight lines are good. Yeah. They feel good. Star says this is looking good. Thank you, Star. We're getting there. Home stretch. So probably, what, another 10 minutes? Uh, the tire involved, so I would say about 15. No, the tire's I feel like he should have a burrito in his other hand, too. <laughs> then it is 100% Oceanside or possibly. <laughs> you're getting so regional if you're putting a California burrito in his hand. <laughs> God, doesn't that sound good right now? Am well, I yeah. starting or something? Well, yeah, I know, but a California burrito always sounds good. Um, French fries and a burrito. Oh, yeah. Gosh, that sounds so good. And the stream's over. We're going to get burritos. <laughs> <laughs> That's how it happens. Fun animation art by Sandy. Says you're extremely talented. Love your work. Thank you, fun animation. Appreciate it. <laughs> She's trying to get her name set again. <laughs> Genius. I'm She's down. brilliant. Melmar Com saying I miss Rubio's. Oh, yeah. And they're, they closed, right? I... I think it's I part remember, of, I don't know if they're done like here or done done. I think they're I think reveals might be done done. I think they're done done, yeah. I think that that was uh they come out. I do miss Roberto's. Oh, I miss have Roberto's. To be honest, I miss Yep. I miss the Roberto's. Roberto's, fun Burtos, Burberto's, all the variations of the Burtos. And now my burrito place is 40 minutes away. Six. Oh, God, that sounds so good. 
I know, and they're closed on Sundays. No. Derek says, uh, Sweet Works, what brushes are you using? Thanks, Derek. So I'm using right now a Kafka pinstriping brush. It's a synthetic liner. It's a size 50, which is the smallest size they have. I also use Lower Cornell's in the same kind of strip liner size, and also Robert Simmons. Oh, I'm glad you answered that because Fun Animation Art by Sandy asked the same thing. What kind of brush oh, okay. are you using for a fine line? Yep. Again, the enamel really is what's making the brush look amazing. The enamel is really, you know, just, it's, this is how it thrives. You know, it, it makes it look like a almost painting with ink. I heard Hooker saying, uh, Senor Grubby surprised us last time we were down there. Oh, we used to go there. Yeah, we used to do Senor Grubby's all the time. We actually live right near the, uh, the Carlsbad, the first one. Yeah, when they first opened in Carlsbad, down in the village. Yep. Um, we were living in Carlsbad at the time, so we used to, Gosh, go a few times a week. Well, we used to go there for football pancakes in the morning on Sundays. Yeah, 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 yeah. Now I want hash browns. <laughs> you think maybe I'm hungry? Yeah, yeah, this is, this is a downward spiral. This is going badly. <laughs> I wasn't sure if it was a chain. I had to grab a bite and to drink at the Stone Brewery in Oceanside. So they're not, they're not a chain. They just have two locations. Yeah, they opened the Oceanside one maybe about five years ago. The Carlsbad. Was yeah, Carlsbad is probably ooh, 15 going on 15 one. years now. Yeah, yeah. holy crap. Yeah, we were in walking distance with the dogs from that. Mm Rose says, did I hear you say Roberto's and Encinitas closed? No. Um, Rubio's closed. Uh, Rubio's. Rubio's Tacos. Um, I think the chain, the chain itself is under. Yeah, the chain itself went under. But I'm, I, would, I was never a Rubio's person. I don't, I don't agree with Rubio's. <laughs> no. <laughs> that is not Southern Not with the Roberto's available. Roberto's is real. Roberto's and Encinitas is like my favorite one, too. That was like the my first one we first, my yeah. first experience with the Erdo's. Uh, Derek is saying, because uh, he had asked about your brushes earlier, he said, that's very cool. I use one shot in Max, but that brush looks easy and smooth. Yes, and this is one shot also. Um, i trying to think of who has... Mac does make a, a couple of liners. Uh, I remember the virus is very close to this, the same exact layout, too, that Mac makes. Is it Allen's? I forget his last name. I think it's a pinstripers brush. The virus something or other. And that is very much the same, similar... Um, liner type of, of brush. It's also fairly smooth. Nasa saying the Rubio's in San Bernardino was still open. So maybe it was just closing a few stores or something. Or a reorg kind of thing. Yeah. I, know, I know it was bankruptcy, so. It was before the virus stuff even hit. It was like not related to that. So I don't know what they're doing. They're spreading false Rubio rumors. Yeah, I'm not trying to spread false Rubio.
Oh, so that, that I'm reading what it was. It was the parent company of Rubio's um, declared bankruptcy in 2017. And then with the pandemic, it accelerated. Um, and so they closed 26 restaurants, okay. including all chain locations in Colorado and Florida. So, yeah, they, they must have closed a few, if not all of them here, but some are open somewhere else. That makes more sense. <laughs> Poor Rose, we're torturing her. She's like, oh, okay, good. Yeah, no worries about Rubio's, but good old SoCal nights. I miss, I miss my burritos. Mm -hmm. No kidding. No kidding. Well, we went uh, vegetarian and vegan, you know, like 10 years ago. So we've been looking for comparable Mexican food. And there's a place down in um, La Mesa that is really good. Yeah, Veganitos. And, oh, it is the first really time we've good. had really, you know, you can't tell... Mexican food, and now, now I'm starving for that. I'm starving for it, yeah. But they, um, they're only open a few days a week. It's still kind of new and all that, so. They rule. I wonder if Rose has ever been to um, uh, Lucha Libre. Lucha. Lucha in, um, in old, right by Old Town. Our second favorite taco shop. Probably, bef yeah, bef when we were still eating meat, probably the favorite taco shop was Lucha. They, so we used to go there, um, Lucha, it's on Washington in, uh, in downtown, and there was never really anybody there. And then that uh, that guy from Man vs. Food went there and ate a giant burrito. And damn it, if there wasn't a line there for two years afterwards, Three years, yeah. no matter what time of day you went, it became famous, famous. Yeah, I mean it's it's excellent, tremendous. The sauce they have, what's that sauce that they have that that uh. It's hard to say. I don't know, but but just fantastic. I mean their their stuff is so good. So yeah, it was really one of our favorite spots when we went to San Diego. We got a damn man versus food show. Screw it off for all of us. Yep. Star is saying I'm loving all the hearts. Thank you, Star. You are going to love the whole set then. I'll give you guys a sneak peek of some of the other ones before we get off the air. Because you guys have sat through this crap. You deserve some kind of extra bonus. Oh, Rose is saying, can you spell out the vegan one? I'm still getting double and, oh, she's getting double sound and it's hard to understand. Oh, double sound. So it's Veganitos. Vegan with I-T-O-S at the end. Veganitos. They were a food stand, like a food truck, at a few um, uh, street fairs for about a year or two. And now they just opened a restaurant in La Mesa. Post a link. I mean, you grab their Instagram link and just post it in the comments. Uh, I can when we're out there. Okay. Yeah, well, I'll post. I'll post a link to them. Yeah, if you get your weird audio, you can't hear us. We'll uh, we'll post a link afterwards. Because. Um, Nas is saying I have to go. Are you going to post the finished artwork after? Yeah. We'll, yes, we'll Nas. Post we'll post up a finished. Yeah, so we'll post it up within within uh, as soon as we're done. Yeah. We'll we'll post up a finished picture of this. Again, you'll see pictures of, of, the, of the, the whole line of stuff that's going to be in the sale, too. So. Noss is awesome. Thanks. It was great to watch. Well, thanks for hanging out. And again, we'll be doing, uh, we'll do some more of these. We'll catch you on a future one. That's the smallest dog making that sound. So you're all aware that's the smallest animal in the room making the most obnoxious sounds from both ends. Oh, you could hear it on the audio. <laughs> don't need a great mic to pick up that kind of sound. Doesn't take much. Let's pop some white highlights and we'll be uh, all set with this one. Let's see if I say anything. Oh, spokes. Spokes.
All right, I pop some of my highlights, but you know what? Since you guys have sat through this, let me give you guys a sneak peek of um, some other pieces here. It'll be so these are all going to be released on real quick on uh, January nineteenth. So here's the piece you guys saw the other day, in case you missed it. The hiking couple. So you can see that. Here's the winter piece. A little glare. And then slide that to the left so you can see the girl. Baby. Yes, so you can see the girl also. Pee. And a secret piece that no one's seen yet because I haven't shown any pictures yet. I'm just moving stuff around here. Bear with me. Is the tubing couple. <laughs> so again, it's all super fun. All this stuff is just. It's been a really fun to fun to paint. So. <laughs> says, oh my god, I love the hiking. <laughs> <laughs> and then the sneak peek coming up, I have this baker. So you can kind of see that. So and that that's coming up um, either live stream tomorrow if uh, if we get to it. So let me just pop some white highlights. Okay, last couple minutes. If you get any questions you have in, get them in. Again, thank you all for joining me here. I appreciate it, sticking around with us. Derek says, thanks, David. It's coming out great. I'm in New York, but I loved uh, going to In-N-Out and Rancho Cucamonga. <laughs> you guys are making me hungry. Rancho Cucamonga! Wow. We used to take uh, the dogs to In-N-Out and get them yes. special doggy uh, burgers. We used to get doggy burgers for In-N-Out, and even when we are um, even after we become vegan, we, used to, we tried to take the new dogs to In-N-Out just because we figured they deserved a special treat, they couldn't give a crap. The new dogs. The new dogs. They were like, whatever. The old dogs, oh, they would start watering a second we got in the line. They knew it was up. Because you can get an unsalted patty that's just for the dogs. So whatever you're working on, can you move it to the middle? Mm -hmm. right, so now I'm just popping some white highlights on some of these hearts, just to give them a little juice. Rose says, oh, the, the puppy grunts. We have a bunny, and you can hear his munching squeaks from across the room. <laughs> yeah, this dog is named Bunny. Yes, this dog is named Bunny. Because it the... eats like that, with this little chompy chomp sound. <laughs> he makes all the sounds. He makes all the bunny sounds. So I'm just putting a few highlights here. Raven says this is too cute. Thank you, Raven. No, I'm already done with that. Oh. <laughs> already done. Already moved along. Uh, Rose saying, where can I get the tubing couple? Uh, <laughs> we'll be contacting you. I love all your work. Each one resonates with so many different friends I have in my heart. Thank you so much for sharing. No problem. Thank you. Again, and these are, it's, it's super fun with these kind of, with these cute couple things to go through. And we're like, okay, what else, what do couples do? What do we like to do? And you kind of make a list of all these funny things. And then again, there's, there's a bunch that doesn't even make on the list that will have to be next time. Again, the camping couple is super funny, and and the stuff that we picked to put in his, on his backpack too. I mean, that's just all stuff I remember as a kid. You know, the Coleman stove, the the little the igloo cooler, just all the things that we had. So to reiterate about when they'll be available. Yes. So um, so those all these pieces I'm showing will be available on January nineteenth, um, for the Valentine's Day sale, six p.m. PST. They'll be released on my site. Um, there'll be prints available in um, all these big ones you see here. There's canvas paper, all those things um, available in prints in all different sizes. Um, but there's a bunch of, of originals, enamel and watercolor that there are no prints for. It's just one small original, you know, that, and that's it. One and done. So those are also be part of the sale. Again, you'll see all that stuff be posted here in the coming, in the coming days as we get closer and closer. Sorry, let me spin this and add some the white highlights to this heart. And then pieces upside down. Boop, boop. Let's give her flower a couple dots. Brighten that up a little bit. All right. Michelle says, I'm so excited. <laughs> Thank you, Michelle. 
Yeah, if you have a couple and you do a thing, we're gonna get to it. Mm -hmm. We're gonna get to it. Couple highlights. I like the spokes. I like the hint of spokes. That's funny. Yeah, it's, it's one of those things you, you render them all out, it gets flat in a hurry. I'm trademarking those. <laughs> spokes? You're a trademark spokes? The style of spokes. <laughs> that and my, um, the way I draw it, um, helicopter and, and uh, airplane. And chrome. And chrome, yeah. yeah. Those weirdnesses. Yeah, good luck trademarking anything. <laughs> well, I think it's a great idea. That makes a lot of sense. It's yeah. totally work. <laughs> I'm just fixing a few shots. So again, um, wrapping this all up now. So again, thank you guys for joining me tonight. I appreciate it. Any more questions, feel free to put them in the, uh, in the comments and I'll get to them for sure. Otherwise, thank you guys, and we'll catch you again on the next one. Thank you.